Now my mate Dan has lent me the keys to his Sapphire Cosworth. It is absolutely mint. So let's walk around and I'll tell you a little bit about the car. The car is a four wheel drive Sapphire Cosworth. The Sapphire Co Cosworth is regarded by many as the best Cosworth over the Escort and the three door. A lot of people prefer the Sapphire and I can absolutely see why. Let us see, this is a four wheel drive one. It's got amber indicators, they should be clear. But like me, Dan prefers the ambers, so Dan's put some amber indicators in his car. It's also on a private reg plate with YB, YBT, which is a nod back to the engine, which the engine is a YB turbo. It's on a Laguna splitter along the bottom, very uh, 2005 kind of modification, fetching good money as well now with them uh, Laguna splitters. Coming out the side, we've got some Compromotive 18 inch TH wheels with some AP brakes behind. Dan's has picked up the brakes, he's had those refurbished and painted gold. Very nice modification, something I would like to do to my cars. See there, we've got the four wheel drive badges along the side. The car is sitting on brand new Corning suspension. I think it is lowered a little bit, maybe it's 20, 30 milli. Then round the back, we've got the smoked rear lights with the plate in the middle. And also Dan's period plate there with the, like the dealer along the bottom. Dan's also got the big exhaust there on the bottom, which to be honest, I think every Cosworth needs. Right, now let's go for a drive, fellas. Now one thing Dan did say, this gives you an idea of how Dan drives his cars. He did say, you might notice you get some clutch slip at the top of fifth gear. Let that sink in, what kind of speeds Dan does in this car when he gets clutch slip. This car is probably the most powerful Cosworth I personally have ever driven. I've, I've had a few Cosworths, but I've never really turned the boost up this high. I, I wouldn't mind quite modest. So we're gonna go on this uh, national speed limit road and we'll open it up a bit. I'm not going to go full hog. Like I say, this isn't my car and I've got absolutely zero intention of breaking anything. I just want to enjoy the car for what it is. Wait for this Mazda. Here we go. First gear. In the second. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. This is a quick car to me, fellas. I want to be honest, this is a very quick car to me. I have asked Dan if he would go out in, the, in, it, in this car and I'll, I'll record Dan driving it. Dan would drive this car like he's trying to break it. Honestly, Dan drives his car like an absolute madman. I've been in the car with him and I've asked him to drop us off before. I'll ask Dan to take the car out and I'll, uh, I'll put some footage of Dan driving the car. Because like I say, Dan uses this car properly. So under the bonnet, we've got the YB engine. Now this is a four wheel drive car, so it's got a 200 engine block, which is stronger than the two wheel drive cars. But you can see this is just a well used and well cared for car. Dan does not scrimp on this car. If it needs something, it gets done. It's had a full new wiring loom from Auto Dynamics. It's got a strut brace over the back there. We've got an oil breather. It's also running a hydraulic clutch. You can see the master cylinder there for the, for the clutch. It's got obviously a big cone filter there and we've got some blue silicon hoses for the water and for the boost pipes we've also got an aluminium header tank and an aluminium power steering tank so dan has also wisely upgraded the fuel pressure regulator these are failing at the moment they've got like a rubber diaphragm in and they're causing fires and burning the cars out so definitely a worthwhile upgrade for the car was to fit the fuel pressure regulator so dan has also got an aluminium radiator and an aluminium RS500 style intercooler, which is a lot bigger than the original four wheel drive one. Another modification to the car is this steering wheel. Dan's got rid of the original four wheel drive steering wheel, which is absolutely atrocious. And he's put this RS4 spoke on. This is absolutely beautiful, nice soft leather. It's all nice and it just makes the car look a lot nicer. Now I have got an Escort Cosworth and the Escort Cosworth has got a big airbag fitted. So I would like an RS4 spoke. But I, I'm not sure if I'm going to remove the airbag from the car, but this is absolutely beautiful, Dan's steering wheel. I know he spent a lot of time, a lot of time looking for it, 
but it is a worthwhile modification to the car. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this thing goes, like I say, Dan thinks this car is around 380 to 400 brake. That is absolute on the limit for this gearbox. I'm a bit worried, fellas, to be honest, about walking it up. Let's have a go. Ready? Foot down in third. It is quite laggy. Down. <laughs> what a car. What a car. Like I say, Dan's built this to how he wants this car. It's not built to please anybody else. He's got all his gear just so he can keep an eye on the engine because he uses this. He's got his Bluetooth stereo. Dan does have kids, so he, he puts the kids in here on a Saturday and then on a Sunday he'll go out by himself and drive the absolute pants off this thing. It gets well used, well looked after though, gets all serviced properly and he does all the modifications to make it a nice driving car. And it is a nice driving car. The steering's got a nice feel to it. He's, got an high, he's put the hydraulic clutch on, so it's got a nice clutch. It's not like snappy and bitey. It hasn't got a paddle clutch in, so when you let it out, it's not juddering, pulling away. It's just a nice Cosworth to drive and just pop about and enjoy. What a car. Absolutely, what a car. And this is a perfectly usable Cosworth. It's not a mega low mileage. It's not, it's had bits of paint work done. It's just a nice usable car. It's not like too pristine that you need to be careful with it. It's, I know Dan has mentioned maybe he's taking it to the boys at the FC paint shop and getting the underside done. But the way he uses the car, I don't know if it's really worth it for Dan, to be honest. Everyone. The car lights absolutely beautifully. It is on brand new Coney suspension. I think it is lowered a bit, so it is slightly stiffer than it would be origin like originally. An original Cosworth is a bit they're a bit boring to drive, to be honest, they're a bit... They've got soft suspension, they're not fast. Really, a Cosworth needs modifying to bring it to life a bit. A bit more boost putting in, a bit... A nice set of wheels, a bit of suspension. For me, anyway, I like Cosworths a bit modified. There's not, there's no really rattles in the car. There's a couple, Dan's got stuff in the glove box, stuff in the door cards, he's got kids. There's stuff in the back seats, toys and that. So there's a couple of rattles from bits and pieces lying around in the car. But the car itself isn't rattly. It's nice to drive, it's got nice steering. Nothing's heavy, nothing's clunky. It's just a really, really nice car to go out in. So like I said, inside, Dan has got everything he needs to keep an eye on the engine. He's got his oil pressure here, his oil temperature, his boost, he's got an EFR gauge, which is your air fuel ratio. He's got an aftermarket screen here that tells us everything, RPM, throttle position, turbo boost, air temperature, water temperature, absolutely everything. This is a proper nice bit of kit for any Cosworth. I think this is an Auto Dynamics, an Auto Dynamics kind of screen thing. Dan has also fitted an aftermarket Bluetooth stereo because like I see, he uses the car, so he connects his phone, you can talk to him on the phone while he's driving the car. He can play his music and just, this is built for Dan. This is Dan's car and this is exactly what Dan, how Dan uses it, he just, takes it out, gets the kids in, goes for goes for meals with the kids and then he, the next day he'll go out by himself and give it an absolute spanking along some country roads. But like I say, it's always been well maintained and it shows. We've got the original Recaro seats. Now the four wheel drive Sapphire Cosworth did also come with, uh, you'll get it with cloth seats, which personally I prefer, but it is still a very nice, very nice interior in this. <laughs> it hooks up, the four wheel drive hooks up and it goes. Even on these damp roads, there's no wheel spin. It's just hooking up and going. Right, fellas, that is it. I'm going to go and take the car back to Dan, drop it off while it's still in one piece. But yet again, thanks for watching and an absolute massive thanks to Dan for letting us take his car out. But yet again, fellas, thanks for watching and I'll catch us on the next video. Cheers.